Max, formerly known as HBO Max, some would argue is the best streaming service of them all, and it would be difficult to disagree. In this video, I'll count down the top 10 TV series on Max, with new episodes released since it launched that we enjoyed the best. And later in this video, in our bonus picks section, I'll share with you some of our favorite HBO shows available on Max that proves it has the best back catalog of TV shows of any streaming service. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is House of the Dragon. This fantasy drama is a prequel to the highly popular Game of Thrones series, which was broadcast on HBO for eight seasons. House of the Dragon is set 200 years before the events of the aforementioned show and covers the events leading to and covering the Targaryen War of Succession known as the Dance of the Dragon. While not reaching the heights of Game of Thrones, it features good performances and stunning cinematography. House of the Dragon has been renewed for a second season. In at number 9 is the fantasy adventure drama His Dark Materials, which is based on the trilogy of novels of the same name by Philip Pullman. It's set in a multi-world reality, with the action moving from one world to another. It follows a young girl who uncovers a sinister plot involving stolen children and a mysterious substance called dust. The visuals are spectacular and features excellent performances, especially from James Cosmo and Ruth Wilson, who some of you will recognize from Luther. All three seasons of His Dark Materials are available to watch right now on Max, with the third being its last. Coming in at number 8 is The Righteous Gemstones. This dark comedy crime series was created by Danny McBride, who also stars in the show and is surrounded by a fantastic ensemble cast with John Goodman playing the family patriarch. It follows a famous and dysfunctional family of highly unlikable televangelists called The Gemstones. While over the top at times, the show is absolutely hilarious and highly entertaining. It gets better with each new season. Three seasons of The Righteous Gemstones are available to watch right now and has been renewed for a fourth season. Up next, coming in at number seven, is the post-apocalyptic drama The Last of Us, which is based on a popular video game developed by Naughty Dog. It's set 20 years into a major outbreak of a mass fungal infection, which causes people to transform into zombie-like creatures. The series follows Joel, a smuggler who helps to escort Ellie, an immune teenage girl, across the United States. While being a great video game adaptation, it could have been a whole lot better. After the pilot episode, it becomes mind-numbingly slow for several episodes with tons of useless filler until the last couple of episodes, which are fantastic. The Last of Us has been renewed for a second season. In at number six is the crime drama Tokyo Vice. It was created by J.T. Rogers and is based on the book of the same name by Jake Adelstein. Michael Mann, who produced the 80s series Miami Vice, serves as an executive producer for this series as well. Tokyo Vice, set in 1999, follows an American journalist who works for a Japanese newspaper. He joins up with the Tokyo Police Vice Squad to take on the city's most powerful crime bosses. This is one of those shows that gets better with each new episode. It's well written, with good acting, and great cinematography. Tokyo Vice has been renewed for a second season. Coming in at number 5 is the seven-part limited series, Mayor of Easttown. This crime drama stars Kate Winslet as the title character, she plays a police detective investigating the murder of a teenage mother in a small town outside of Philadelphia, while at the same time trying to keep her own life from falling apart. Winslet is fantastic and surrounded by a good cast. While gruesome at times, Mayor of Easttown is totally engrossing from beginning to end. If you enjoy shows like Broadchurch and Happy Valley, the series is a must watch. Taking the number four spot is the dark comedy superhero action drama, Peacemaker. Created by James Gunn, the series is a spin-off of the DC Comics film, The Suicide Squad. Set after the events of the film, the series stars John Cena in the title role as Peacemaker. He joins up with a mysterious group to identify and eliminate parasitic, butterfly-like creatures who have taken over human bodies all over the world. Watching the show, you can expect tons of action with a good amount of lighthearted fun moments. Max has renewed Peacemaker for a second season. Before we get to the top three, here are several shows that were broadcast on HBO prior to the launch of Max that helped to prove that Max has the best back catalog of any streaming service. If you haven't seen any of these yet, you should check them out. 
The Wire. There are five seasons in total. Boardwalk Empire, also with five seasons. The five-part miniseries, Chernobyl. Deadwood, with three seasons in total, plus a film released a couple years back. The Leftovers, also with three seasons in total. Oz, with a total of six seasons. The 10-part miniseries, Band of Brothers. And its companion series, The Pacific, which is also a 10-part miniseries. Six Feet Under, with six seasons. With a total of eight seasons, Game of Thrones. And rounding out our bonus picks, The Sopranos, with six seasons in total. Back to the countdown, Barry takes the number three spot. This dark comedy crime drama was created by Alec Berg and Bill Hader, who stars in the title role as Barry. The story starts out with Barry, a hitman from Cleveland, traveling out west to Los Angeles to kill someone. Shortly thereafter, he finds himself joining an acting class. The writing and performances are outstanding. This is another one that gets better with each new season. Barry has four seasons available to watch right now, with the fourth closing out the series. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is the satirical comedy drama, Succession. The series follows the Roy family, who are the owners of a global entertainment and media company. While family patriarch, Logan Roy's health is uncertain, his family members fight for control. The show features a fantastic ensemble cast, and the writing is as good as it gets. All four seasons of Succession are available to watch right now, with the fourth season being its last. In the top spot, coming in at number one, to the surprise of no one that follows our channel, Warrior is our favorite series on Max. This martial arts crime drama was created by Jonathan Tropper, the creator of Banshee, and it's based on an original concept by Bruce Lee. Set in San Francisco during the late 1800s, it follows a martial arts prodigy who has emigrated from China in search of his sister. As you might expect, the story is well told, the pacing is fast, and there's tons of action. Right now, there are three seasons available on Max, still waiting word whether Warrior will be coming back for a fourth season. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with others and give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite TV series on Max? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff.